what's up guys so today we're doing a vertical hood mod so it's a very useful mod uh, it's not just for looks even though it does look cool when you're uh, at the track or wherever you're gonna be at with the hood completely flipped up like that so um, but really it's uh, kind of a uh, it's very purposeful because if you're tall like me I've hit my head on the uh, the hood a couple times when it was just propped up by the hood prop and that doesn't feel good and plus I looked like a dummy the rest of the week when I was at work because I had like this huge like black and blue spot on my forehead because I was like oh. and man it hurt probably for like 10 minutes I was just like oh gosh so don't be a dummy just do the vertical hood mod <laughs> so uh, I already did it uh, I completed it already it, all, it seriously took me like 10 minutes to do uh, and that included like taking the hood off and then cutting it and then putting it back on and I did it by myself if you have a nice looking car I would highly recommend uh, you have someone help you because you definitely don't want to scratch your paint I didn't scratch mine at all but taking the hood off and on by yourself uh, it's kind of heavy um, and really awkward because it's just like so so uh, you have the dimensions of it so anyways uh, so hope you guys enjoy we'll just get to it all right guys, so pretty much what you're gonna need to do is uh, cut these little, this little tab right here off. As you can see, there's kind of like a stop uh, right here. So uh, yeah, you might be able to bend that, but I wouldn't try because it might make your hood not close properly if you try and bend this little tab out. Um, so anyways, um, I'm probably just going to take it off because that'll be easier because a hacksaw won't really fit in here. A sawzall might, but you might end up cutting through some of this other stuff if you're not really good with a sawzall. Um, so yeah, taking off the hood is probably a two-person job, but it's just me by myself, so I'm going to try and take it off. Alright, so I got all the bolts out and it still kind of stays. Uh, if you've never taken your hood off, it'll probably stay because I've never taken mine off and it didn't look like anybody else had. Uh, but if your hood has been taken off before, it might not stay on like this. So just be careful. Um, so I'll, I'll set the GoPro down and you guys can see me make a fool of myself trying to take it off. So. <laughs> Alright, so so you guys can see, see this little tab, this little notch right here? Basically what you're going to need to do is just cut here until just get it off and then you can probably just bend it, uh, bend it off. So, as you can see right there, that's where it hits and stops. So, I'm just going to need to do it on this side. And then just do the same thing. This one's missing a bolt, that's not good. But pretty much just do the same thing on this side, so just gonna bust out the hacksaw and there we go all right so you guys can see I did one cut this way so pretty much just like this you know hitting it like this way obviously my leg wasn't right here and the other cut doing it like this way and just uh, be careful you don't want to cut through this side and you don't want to cut through any other any other spot so uh, I'm, I'm pretty much all, almost all the way through. I might just try and grab a pair of pliers and uh, try and bend it off or something. Oh, and there it went. Almost. It's hard to do one-handed. Might be easier if you just have a hammer or something. You can bang it right off. But anyways, it's almost off as you can see. So 
me see what else I got. There we go, I don't even have it all the way off, but the hood now can go all the way. So. Before it would just stop like right here. Now I can go all the way, as you can see. So I'll probably just break this little tab all the way off. So that way it doesn't just sit there like that. So, all right, now I'm just gonna move on to the other side. All right, so now both sides are gone. The stops are gone. So now I'm gonna, I'll prop the GoPro up and I'm gonna see if I can get it on, get it back on by myself. So uh, if you're rolling solo and you got a nice paint job, I don't know if I'd really recommend this, but as you can see, my paint, especially on the front and on the fenders and stuff, isn't really that good. So if it scratches it a little bit, I'm not, not that worried. Plan on getting new fenders in the future anyways. So anyways, I'll set the camera up and show you guys. All right, so hopefully you guys can kind of see. Uh, I got it on myself. <laughs> Might not have been the most legit way, but uh, got it on. So if you're wondering what I was doing, I put all, I threaded all the bolts in. Also, I uh, on the back bolt, I threw like two washers. That's all I had. Well, two for each side. If you've wondered where you see people and their hoods closed, but it's kind of lifted on the back, it's because they put either washers or they buy like a spacer for it. Um, and why people do that is because all this air is flowing through um, your radiator and your intercooler and stuff and it doesn't have a lot of places to go except like back under the car and some goes under the hood if you lift the hood it's gonna make basically air flow you know through the bumper through the intercooler through the radiator then it's gonna just flow right out through the top of that hood since you know heat rises obviously so then it will uh, just allow the air to flow through right here so anyways I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna tighten these guys up with the ratchet and then uh, then I'll show you guys the end result so cool. all right so I got the hood on got it tightened but uh hold on. so as I was as I was bringing the hood down Kind of looking here. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but uh, oops, it's kind of not straight. So pretty much, if you do it and it's like that, it's because uh, the holes um, aren't perfectly centered. So what you're going to need to do is just loosen that side and loosen that side, and then uh, just kind of twist it a little bit. So. Like for me, pretty much just gonna need to uh, twist it, uh, just pull it a little bit to the uh, to the left, or yeah, to the left. So uh, shouldn't be too hard. So I'm just gonna loosen it and then do that, and then I'll show you the final product.
All right guys, so here's the finished product. So as you can see, there is like substantially more room where you can work in the engine bay. Um, I'm like super psyched now because <laughs> it's kind of a kind of a pain working under here when the hood is like this, you know, because you have like no room over here. Would have been good if I did this before I did the turbo swap because it would have made my life so much easier. But uh, oh well. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope it's useful to you guys. And uh, as always, give me a thumbs up if you like the vid. Uh, leave me a comment. Um, and if you're feeling generous, click subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. So uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks.